Okay, so uh, hi, I'm Anna. Hi. I'm working for IBM. Dick Anderson, working for Softronic. Okay. My name is David Bismarck, and I I'm a thinker, tinkerer, researcher, entrepreneur, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I like TED. Yeah. So how, how did you find this morning? Very interesting. Uh, mind twisting, I, I I guess to see all the examples mm -hmm. of what's possible to do. Yeah, and it's really interesting to see what ICT can do for the third world. Indeed. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, how fast the development actually can mm. uh, sp speed up yeah. development. In, in, uh I guess there have been a few initiatives over the years, um, like making really cheap laptops that you can, that are solar powered and, and then yeah. yeah, it feels somehow like uh, now it's happening. I mean, we've been talking about this for 10 years, 15 years, all the things that's possible to do. And suddenly it's like it's exploding. Mm. It's possible and it's happening. And that's what I think is really exciting. Yeah. I guess it's, it's uh, the right time to do it, right, for many different reasons. One being that, that it's cheap now. Exactly, yeah, and the broadband and the cloud yes. and everything that yeah. he mentioned. Yeah. So. Uh, and the mobility, the mm -hmm. wireless uh, solution, uh, it's um, once again back to the third wo world. Yeah, exactly. I think e Ericsson is uh, providing some kind of uh, simple laptops, cheap laptops mm -hmm. uh, for the connected world. Mm -hmm. And um, the banking part mm -hmm. and, and yeah. the marketing and um, network connections mm -hmm. to develop businesses, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've been working with electronic voting. That's that's my my topic. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. And uh, and so what we try to do in electronic voting is to use technology to have verifiable elections. Mm -hmm. uh, and and that would be really good in in new democracies. Mm. You know, because you could you couldn't cheat. You could yeah. find out if in, uh, find out if anyone is cheating. But it's sort of based on connectivity. It's based on internet uh, connectivity and. Mm. Um, and I, I spoke to someone yesterday who wanted to use mobile phones instead, and it's a hard problem. How do you how do you counter vote selling if you're using a mobile device? Uh, maybe yeah. not to vote, but may, maybe very to verify your vote. You could use your mobile phone. Yeah. And we've seen that as well, I guess, in in the in Africa that people use their mobile phones for a whole lot of things, uh, and that uh, so people are now shaping their products after the the way people use mobile yeah. phones. So you can transfer money, you can make payments over mm. mm -hmm. using text message. Um, I guess you have really, you have cheap, durable phones with long battery life. Yeah, know, that's... Because you have to travel to like key. charge your phone. Yeah, you know. exactly. And it's cheap, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for, vot cheap, yeah yes. for voting, yeah. I suppose all the technology is there. It's just uh, all the issues around you need to solve it to, to make it happen. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, yeah. And, and you mean security issues or yeah, exactly. Infrastructure yeah. issues. Mm. Yeah. Both. It's all of it. Yeah. 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 So, so do you believe <laughs> in the internet? <laughs> <of things? laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It will Definitely. happen. Yeah. Uh, actually, I read read about th something the other day um, where a car is connected. Mm -hmm. A car is connected to the petrol station. Yeah. And um, depending on the driver's uh, behavior, uh, it sets the price mm -hmm. on on the fuel mm. oh, right. at the pump. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what would that give you? It would give you. Uh, uh, actually, you, you will have um, more expensive fuel if you drive. Oh, okay. Um, on environmentally. Yeah. Friendly car, oh, okay, for okay. example, or if you have. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, rough driving. Yeah. Well, what we could so do, we could put a device in every person's car, and if you drive, uh, you know, which in a way that's bad for the environment, we'll tax you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, let's just <laughs> let's uh, uh, yeah. keep tabs on everyone all the time. That would be great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I think yeah. that that's a way of uh, actually forcing people to um, uh, be aware of the environment. But uh, I think uh, using IT to mm. um, create awareness. awareness mm -hmm. Yeah. of uh, their behavior and uh, and what happens with the yeah. environment exactly. is an mm. uh, important area for mm -hmm. IT. So, yeah, so that was a thought I had during one of these presentations. That was that 
So the the little little fellow who sits on your table and sort of falls over if you're, you know, wasting yeah, exactly. energy. That's great, but it's it's not so much the Internet of Things as it is just data visualization. And we see that data visualization mm -hmm. is really popular now. You know, mm -hmm. people want to. They have access to all this data and they want to make something of it. Yeah, exactly. Which is a lot easier in the States, for example, w United States, where data is available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in for some reason in Europe, we think this is should be really expensive to use. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. a great initiative is to free this data and make it publicly available. Mm -hmm. Definitely, because yeah. Because we have, we've seen lots of weather sites in Sweden, for example, that go and use the free Norwegian data, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is essentially the Swedish data, mm -hmm. but the Swedish, you know, um, government-funded yeah. people won't release it. So mm -hmm. we, no. you know, I think, yeah. But isn't things changing uh, I think regarding slowly, yeah. public data? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think there is regulations actually that uh, provide uh, forces um, the public sector to uh, actually publish their mm -hmm. information. Yeah. In and that's a also a very interesting topic, mm. the data explosion. We will have so much data because everyone is really using their phones or whatever and, and we, we're collecting so much data that we yeah. can yeah. really analyze anything mm. and uh, that will change a lot i think just uh, knowing how many people are in a subway at the moment or, or whatever yeah. is yeah. it's so useful and we, we can make so much out of that so i was i was actually thinking yeah. of connectivity uh, yeah. and um, the internet of things this morning mm -hmm. because when you travel partly by car and mm. subway in Stockholm yeah you're expected to park in a parking place near mm. a subway mm. station and then and um, mm. your ticket is connected to the uh, so ticket the machine so, mm -hmm. so to speak mm. but uh, it still isn't con connected all the way exactly no. so if you haven't updated your uh, 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 fair ticket, yep. so mm -hmm. to speak. It's not valid in in the parking mm. uh, oh, okay. uh, machine. Yeah. So it's it uh, it's a creates a difficult situation. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And I think by thinking um, big, you can and involving all the aspects of actually traveling. Yeah. Exactly. Then you could actually create solutions that work all the way. Definitely. Mm. And makes it comfortable for for the user as well. Indeed. Yeah. So, yeah. So dur at the during the same talk, I was thinking, what is going to drive this, w w uh, the development towards an Internet of Things? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be because people have or they can they can potentially have an interest in such products, mm -hmm. and so is people develop them? Or uh, and are they going to be open somehow? Because if we let's say we wear we wear mm. and we interact or we are monitored by devices all the time, we create mm. all this data. Mm. And so is that going to be something that we share with each other? Are we going to own it, or is it going to be proprietary? Because mm. if Apple uh, starts to use, <laughs> so they do already collect stuff. Yeah. When, yeah. You're, when you're walking around with yeah. your iPhone, it already detects networks and exactly. sort of makes maps. It's mm -hmm. already using your work to, you know, create value for itself. Mm -hmm. So in the Internet of Things, are we not going to see that that is what they're going to do? Mm -hmm. They're going to treat us as the product that they are selling, not so yeah, much I as guess, the customer. Yeah. Mark and Zuckerberg is already <laughs> yeah, 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 using absolutely. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 sure. And I, I guess we're uh, allowing this more and more because mm. you're getting used to it and, and, and you get so much benefit from it in other ways that you allow it. Mm. But uh, there will definitely be some discussions, I think. Mm. And I think it's yeah. a, a mindset change uh, that's changing because uh, you are a bit mm. suspicious mm -hmm. to start with yeah. mm. when you turn on your new... Yeah. Smartphone. And some people are more suspicious than other and yeah. yeah. And uh, if you don't turn it on with all functionality, mm. Mm. you will be reminded when you download an app mm. that you need to use. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, we cannot detect or help you at the moment mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we don't know yeah. where you are. Exactly. <laughs> I, I guess that's yeah. W so they're saying we can offer you this if you do this for us. That's yeah. that's one thing. Mm. But you also see mm. all these the, the, the companies who don't do it, you know, mm -hmm. So th that could yeah, be sure. okay, right? Yeah. If they're saying, we're going to give you this if you give us that. But s do, do you know about this IQ, um, this software that was found on mobile phones that sort of log everything you do, mm -hmm. uh, and which collects data for advertisers? 
and they wasn't known to be there. It was oh, someone okay. detected mm. that it was there. Yeah. yeah. Right. And now there's this big lawsuit in. in yeah, of in course. America there will again. be a lot of new risks as well that yeah. we need to deal with. So uh, that's part of the frill and the problem. Yeah. I would mm. say. Yeah. And I, I guess. Th sorry. Did you? No. I guess a related top uh, area uh, is um, who does the surveillance, right? So we, mm -hmm. we are happy giving Facebook or Google or Apple, I yeah. guess, mm -hmm. data about us because we'd sort of trust them. It wouldn't mm -hmm. be in their interest to yeah. do anything, well, do two bad things with mm -hmm. it, right? But what if we make laws that means that the government is allowed to spy on us? Uh, mm -hmm. And what if the European Union starts this huge initiative to yeah, exactly. keep track of everyone all the time? Yeah. Your votes, for instance. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe your votes, but at yeah. least the way you travel and uh, mm. and if you're suspected of a crime, they can see. Yeah. Mm. So this is what mm. he did the last two months. You know, every single exactly movement. Yeah. And they uh, they already use that kind of data today mm. in uh, mm -hmm. UK, I think, mm -hmm. for solving criminal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or crimes, yeah. so to speak. So it's hard to know where so the balance is. How, yeah. how, how much law enforcement? Mm -hmm. how, how, what value is this to law mm -hmm. enforcement? And what? when do we need to say, no, we actually need some privacy. We actually need... Yeah, exactly. All those things that people fought for a hundred years ago, whatever. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, yeah. And when, when it was written into constitutions several hundred years ago. Yeah. 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 Mm. That's, that's on the negative side, so to speak. But yeah. um, then you have... Um, the positive side as well, mm -hmm. um, using it for actually saving the environment yes, and uh, and get yeah making mm -hmm. everything easier. Yeah, I would say mm. more efficient, yeah. easier, more uh, just uh, uh, just standing at the yeah. bus station mm -hmm. and uh, waiting for the bus that doesn't arrive in time. Yeah. yeah. And still, you can pick up your phone and see that it's two ma two minutes away mm. exactly. from you. Yeah. And that stops you from actually walking home or yeah. calling a cab <coughs> or mm -hmm. something. So yeah. that's really useful. Mm. Exactly. And once you get used to this new technology, it's really hard not to want more. I was thinking the other day uh, when I was taking some photos with my camera that I want to send it right away. And, and I know there are some memory cards like that where you can oh yeah, have Wi-Fi, but mm. I don't have it. And, and I was thinking, why don't I have it in my camera? It's like... It's so... Well, uh, your mobile phone is probably as good yeah, as the camera course. now. So if, yeah, if you're yeah. using your mobile phone... You but if you have this, you know, yeah. big uh, yeah. <coughs> system camera, you want this as also. Yeah. yeah. I think and we've uh, had all these dreams for the past two decades about w what our devices are going to do for us. Exactly. Uh, and someone, you know, people have been suggesting all the time, it's going to mm -hmm. be the mobile phone. Yeah. It's all yeah. going to be in your mobile phone. And we sort of said, no, I, I'd rather buy a good, uh, mm. you know, camera. Or mm. I'd rather do this. Mm -hmm. But it's actually coming true. I mean, it's mm. all in your pocket now. It's yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. yeah, but still, mm. it's it's also a sign of uh, traditional mm. thinking when mm -hmm. you develop a system camera. Yeah. yeah. With a digital uh, functionality, but it's s still, still yeah. the same <gasps> as yeah. the analog. Exactly. Camera, uh, That's right. actually. But you yeah. can but you can buy the car though. So I, I guess I just have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> uh. yeah. I always mm. used to wonder why these people who go to real, I mean, to war zones, you know, to document them mm -hmm. stuff, they should have these cameras, you know, they mm. snap a picture, yeah. and it's off. Yeah, definitely. It'll take a while to upload, I guess, but yeah. before they have their cameras confiscated. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm. Well. Indeed. So, what was the first talk again? The first uh, uh, was about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the when he spoke about the, the shape of things that they, uh, how how you can uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how how we put it but uh, how they uh, they can change. Uh, um, he had some examples there, and I was thinking like ten years ago. I was thinking when I, w I was watching, I, I got some really big emails, and at that time, um, sometimes it didn't go through because it was mm -hmm. too big. And I, I I was thinking that what if you could see on the cord when a big email is coming, so oh, yeah, <laughs> it would <right>. just be, <laughs> you know, when you can follow it, oh, it's a large file coming now. Mm. So, and uh, this is pretty much happening now. Yeah, uh, it is. Mm. I've seen some examples, so when you're using a lot of power, when a lot of power is going through a yeah, cable, exactly, it, yeah. it sort of turns red or exactly, green when yeah. it's... Or yeah. just grow and get smaller or... Yeah. That's uh, pretty fascina fascinating, mm. I think. Mm. Well, it's challenged uh, the students mm. yeah. to use this. 
but still instead of sending the large file mm. through the cord yeah it's easier to upload it and share it mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly as with um, I think uh, iCloud I've tried to uh, get mm -hmm. my hands on iCloud and mm -hmm. get it work mm -hmm. fully, but uh, I still haven't. But mm. just the thing that when you take a picture with your mobile phone, mm -hmm. you can immediately transfer it to the cloud mm -hmm. and share it. Mm -hmm. mm. And you just expect it, you take it for granted almost now. Yeah. yeah. And it, we only had it for some years. Mm. Indeed. It's pretty interesting how technology is mm. really changing our behavior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think we, we also learn by testing new things yeah. and we actually step up our demands mm -hmm. on new vendors, no uh, solutions. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And then actually more accelerating. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, that's an interesting point because before the iPhone, the, the, a new version of a mobile phone had a new version of worm mm. or whatever mm. it's called. You know, that, that was all. Snake. Mm. Sorry, it was snake. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> Swedish. <laughs> it's worm. Yeah. English, it's snake. It's like worm? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. And that was all. And then they started making covers that mm -hmm. you can put on it and you can, you can have a different color mm. on the thing, right? But mm. the, the software was just, it was treading water for a yeah. long time. And then you had an iPhone and mm -hmm. now people sort of, they want the new thing and they want mm. new functionality mm. and I, I, I'm so excited that, mm. that, that that did happen eventually mm. because yeah. then we have all of this going on and mm. you can really see how it's accelerating mm -hmm. in the past 15 years, mm. you know, yeah. development. Mm. Yeah, it changed a lot yeah. of things. And yeah. Yeah, well the it's first talk, uh, he mentioned the digital natives, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the people who are born now and who oh will yeah. take yeah. this for granted yeah. for yeah. the, you know. <gasps> it's just yeah. to look at your own children. Yeah. As he mentioned, actually, mm. they have completely different expectations. Mm -hmm. And when I see my grandchildren mm. oh. at three years' age working with an iPad, yeah, 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 yeah. doing this on the TV, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is a single function device. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you want this for? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Silly, yeah. but still, I think um, the challenge remains when it comes to engineering and design. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's uh, it's uh, not difficult to uh, create a fully working product, mm -hmm. technically fully mm. working product, but it should be usable and mm. uh, intuitive and uh, mm -hmm. yeah. nice designed mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, yeah, and getting people to work together, yeah. speaking totally different yeah. languages, yeah. maybe. But uh, but then I would like yeah. to go back to my previous mm. argument who what is going to drive this mm -hmm. right is it going do we we need to say oh we're going to have to do it this way because then we'll sell more products or are we going to just do it because we earn more money or mm. i mean companies if they if this is going to sell more product if mm. this is going to they're going to do it right we it seems the 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 discussion seems moot uh, you know mm -hmm. if they if they identify the opportunity they'll do it mm. They'll but have people who are both designers and programmers mm. or mm. whatever, or they'll, they're, they're already doing this. Mm. They're already uh, having designers and programmers working together. Yeah. I yeah. think many companies have actually learned a lesson by watching Apple. Mm. Because uh, as a vendor or producer, you need a big ear mm. to mm. the consumer. Mm. And I think the, the power will be more with the consumer mm. in the future. Mm. So if you don't listen to your customers, then you mm. won't actually succeed. I absolutely agree with that because that's why the Motorola and Ericsson and everything, I mean, was doing so poorly uh, mm. for, for a long time now. Mm. And that's because they didn't, I, I feel they didn't listen. They, they upgraded mm. Snake mm. and they didn't like, they didn't innovate and ask people what they wanted. Mm. Yeah. And I and guess, though that I, I do understand that we now have a, a different level of connectivity mm -hmm. we now have infrastructure that supports all this sorry mm. yeah no there yeah. that was your point <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that's right and also we have all those social entrepreneurs doing things that uh, i don't know if they are more today but it feels like they they are more and, and maybe it's maybe exciting. they are yeah. more visible because of the internet but they yeah. they really have the opportunity to create new ideas and mm. Yeah, this uh, is what's so wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And it's also easier for them to actually 
uh, spread out the message yeah. and uh, they don't mm -hmm. they are not dependent on large fundings exactly yeah. that yeah. way so everything is not based maybe on um, um, making money in the end it's, it's also uh, some visions and yes, some ideas and the reasons and oh yeah. another thing we heard in the first talk was that people do things now because they can reach a large audience mm. yeah so sorry once and this is just I mean the simple simplest case is where you write a, a piece of text and you do that because people will read it right mm -hmm. and once upon a time if you had like you wanted to write a piece of text you could do your fans mm. fanzine or whatever fanzine or whatever it's called mm. uh, and you could like sell a couple of copies to friends right but now you can blog and you and mm -hmm. you can potentially reach all these people or you can start y a business you can you can you know and it, and the uh, another thing is if all you need is a computer, a computer is expensive. I mean, if you're talking about the third world or whatever, uh, or Africa or, th or these micro entrepreneurs that we were talking about, but most people in, in the West have a computer now, so mm -hmm. they can potentially do all this stuff. Mm. They th all they need is themselves uh, acquiring some knowledge and then using their computer. They can, and, and that's very liberating for creatives, mm. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Yeah. Another impressive thing was the actually the school container, which the one connected was that? container. Oh yeah, right. A classroom mm -hmm. in a container mm. with a large screen and seats. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Connected. Yeah. Mm. So you could actually bring the mm. high-end education mm. to yeah anywhere anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a t there's a TED talk on this subject from a from so I believe lot two years ago maybe uh, and it's um, uh, I can't remember the the chap's name but he uh, he led a project that installed uh, computers with well touchscreen computers in holes in the wall in r rural India I guess so maybe mm -hmm. uh, well uh, around India somewhere and then they monitored how much people used it mm. Mm. and you could get these interactive courses and people mm -hmm who had never had access to a computer used this interface to learn stuff mm. and so they essentially had access to mm. these courses and mm -hmm. Wikipedia and stuff like that so they uh, that was an interesting project you don't have to have a whole container you could mm. just make this computer available and people will use it mm. Mm. Oh, that's fascinating oh, it's very fascinating mm. and I can see uh, several uh, uh, areas where where it's usable with a container or if you take the slum part of the mm -hmm. cities, mm -hmm. in the large cities, mm. with um, no toilets, etc., there are projects ongoing on mm. how to actually replace these uh, bad uh, houses, so mm -hmm. to say. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you replace this with a with a prefabricated uh, building, mm. you could actually include the connectivity. Mm and uh, also get your hands on, on the uh, waste, etc. Mm -hmm. mm. So what so are your thoughts about making Africa connected, for example? So we heard that they were going to put down lots and lots of Yeah, I, I think uh, I heard somewhere that um, south of the Sahara there mm -hmm. are 600 million uh, mobile uh, uh -huh. uh, Devices. Users, mm. yeah, users, yeah, yeah. users, and um, this creates uh, a huge opportunity mm -hmm. when it mm -hmm. comes to development, mm. and uh, especially when we refer to the samples that were shown initially with um, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that have been working in a very small scale for decades, yeah. and suddenly they get uh, connected and mm. uh, they get new contacts, mm. new network, and uh, they expand their business and they create they create job opportunities mm. for mm. the neighbors in in mm -hmm. the city, etc. Mm. Yeah. So it's um, it's quite interesting, actually. Yeah, it is. And the world is getting smaller when yeah. everyone can access the same information. Yeah. 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 Mm. So I guess people, lots and lots of people in Africa have access to a mobile phone, but no landline. You know, no mm. phone in their homes. Mm. So they sort of took uh, technology allowed them to take a step over yeah, this exactly. really, really expensive mm. infrastructure building mm. and they could build less I expensive infrastructure, yeah. I guess. Mm. Uh, d do we see the same thing with the internet, do you think? Do we, instead of trying to build broadband to people's homes, which is maybe not possible, 
we have some kind of wireless connectivity. I, th I think so, yeah. because now you uh, have the opportunity to um, use 4G here in Sweden mm -hmm. with uh, up to, uh, I think, 80 gigabyte per second or something. Mm. So, uh, mm. yeah. And also, why, why a computer when you can have your phone or your iPad or whatever? You mm -hmm. don't really need the computer mm. anymore. That's right. So, um, definitely skip one step there. Yeah. Mm. They, don't, they don't need to go through the hassle with um, mm. IT that we have been gone through. That, that's right. Mm. <laughs> so, so, I can't remember who said this, but the, the future is already here, right? But it's unevenly distributed. Yeah. But mm. maybe it maybe the it has to be unevenly distributed for a while for these like mm. paradigm shifts to happen mm. because we've spent lots of money on technology and people are obsessed with it here maybe yeah. we can drive innovation to something that will actually mm. benefit uh, uh, humanity mm. in a different way yeah. than yeah. my new iPad does yeah so you have a point there mm. and also maybe we need to take the risks in order to have all the benefits from from all this new technology that's right mm. yeah mm. Hmm. Yes. This is a very long talk. Thirty-five minutes. Uh, mm. So, what else? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember the number three from the first talk. Uh. Was, so there was three ideas, three people, and and three of something else, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I, I made some notes, but I don't <laughs> have my <laughs> notebook here. Uh. So ah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some other. So how do you okay. like the TEDs format? So have you been to TEDs before? Or you watched I've them never online? been, but I've watched a lot of them online. And yeah. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh. completely sold on it. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch them every lunch so. break of the new one? or All the time? All day, maybe, at work? No, no. Uh. Not. Uh, <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 Sorry to. <laughs> Running out of topics here. I've run out of topics. Uh, have you had a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Very a good session. Great. What have you been talking about? Can't remember now. Oh. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. So connectivity a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Internet the of the things. Internet. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've heard. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talking about. I've also seen the Twitter feed. Uh, a lot of people are, are uh, really, you know, impressed, and they're, they're seeing all the possibilities. But, but a lot of people are also seeing the, you know, the possible drawbacks, the possible We've other talking a little other yeah. side yeah. of it as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. it needs yeah. to be it needs to be watched there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but you said something really good Adam, that we sometimes we need to take. Um, oh, can you repeat what you so said? Yeah. <laughs> when you need to yeah. like figure out a balance between the opportunities with collecting all this data, for example, and mm. your need for privacy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and the way we could regulate this and who it is that we're giving all this data to. Yeah. And so one point we, uh, we made about the uh, Internet of Things is that you will create all this data. And are you going to have ownership of it? Or is Apple and Google, or is the government, or yeah. who, mm. you know, this is going to be sold? Are you going to be the product or, or the consumer? Yeah. Mm. So th there are drawbacks with everything, but there are also positive things. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going into the, the second uh, part of today. And so we've been talking about the uh, connectivity and the technology. Now we're going to start talking a bit about more about, I'm not going to say talk, talk more about humanity because we talked about that previously as well, but we'll be have two talks more about the, the human interaction part of it. Mm -hmm. two, with yes. the first, uh, Christina Herk. Uh, we will talk about the human interaction, uh, with human computer interaction, and then we have Shietil, which uh, with a very, very interesting example of how he's using IT to change the lives for, for kids with special needs. So, uh, yes. I thank you very much for uh, you. being a part of the panel. We've had 2,000 views all, <laughs> all the time <laughs> okay. online. Okay. So, so <laughs> thank you very much, and uh, we will uh. see you back online very soon. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>